Hey, how you doing? Uh, Tim here. I got um, some news today. I've got kind of a quick deadline that I didn't realize I had for the local paper um, because Monday, this coming Monday, is the election. So um, the paper, instead of coming out next Tuesday, will be coming out over the weekend on Saturday. So my deadline got moved up a day. So I had to come up with a quick cartoon today um, and I decided to do something of a local issue. And tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and get it in here and I'll talk to you about it as I'm working on it. And give me just a second here and it should scan. Yep, that's on. Okay. Let me get it set here. Uh, 300 dpi. Go ahead and scan it. And we'll get it into Photoshop, and I'll talk about the cartoon here, and go from there. We'll start coloring it. Okay. Let me see. Okay. I believe this is it. Okay. There it is. Let me rotate it a little bit clockwise so you can see it. Um, this cartoon, if you live here in Indiana, you know exactly what this is probably. Um, this is Romeo Langford. He's a high school basketball player. Um, apparently one of the best ever from this state, and this state's produced a lot of good ones. And just yesterday, he committed to going, going to Indiana University, which was a big deal around here. Um, he made his pick between Indiana Vanderbilt and Kansas, and uh, it's been a while since Indiana got a recruit of this caliber, so um, everybody here is very, very happy about it. So I decided to do a quick cartoon on Romeo Langford's announcement since it's coming out in just a few days. This will still be kind of a, a fresh little news item. So um, this is the cartoon. Um, there's going to be some type that goes in here, but let me go ahead and get the, uh, get the image adjusted here. Go to levels and darken it up a little bit. Uh, try to push the contrast before I color it. Okay, I go to brightness and contrast. Typically, I hit 25 on each of those. And then again on adjustments, I'll go to levels again. And kind of my default is to go to 111, then start doing some erase work. Um, you can see over here on the left edge, there's a uh, dark line there. I need to get rid of that. That's the frame that I had around the cartoon. Um, and it looks like there's a little bit down at the bottom as well. So just make sure I get all of this cleaned up before I go into it. And I'll go ahead and do it just a quick lap around everything here. Try to get as much of the uh, little uh, pixels of black or gray that I possibly can. Um, Okay, let me come in a little bit closer here and reduce the size of the eraser. Okay, I can see some gray pixels that I do not want. So what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of going through this and erasing, let me see if I can uh, push the brightness contrast a little bit more. That might take care of a lot of it. And it did. Okay, that's not too bad. But I still want to go back into areas of focus. Um, things like the eyes here. Um, people have a tendency to look at eyes. Uh, when they see an image and it's got eyes, that's pretty much what you're going to see first. Uh, making eye contact, even with a cartoon. So, there we go. That's a little better. Um, get rid of that. There's a couple little smudges up here. Okay, I don't see too much. Maybe just a few up here. Don't want to get rid of too much stuff here. I kind of like, again, the loose, uh, sketchy nature of my work. That's kind of my little signature style that I got going here that I've developed for these cartoons over the years. Um, and I'm still working on it to make it a little bit better here and there. But right now, um, this one's not too bad. I'm fairly happy with the drawing, uh, especially for a quick cartoon like this. Um, okay, there's a couple of little spots I want to get rid of here. And there you go. Okay, there's the full image. Let me darken it one more time. 
and we'll start moving on to uh, coloring a little bit. Okay, there we are. Okay, one of the things I need to do now is to let's see, find my layers. Okay, right now this layer is called background. I'm going to go ahead and change it to call it line art. And under mode, I'm going to hit multiply. Okay. Uh, what that does is make it transparent. The line art is there, and everything you see that is white is transparent. So what I can do now is I'll create a second layer. Uh, right now it's labeled layer one. I'll just call it color. And I will bring it underneath the line art layer. And I'll select the color mode. Right now, as of default, it's in grayscale. I want to work in CMYK. Don't merge. OK. And here we go. So if I go to my, let's say, brush tool right now, and let's say I want to color the hat red since it's an IU hat he put on, um, I can go like that. And then there's his hat. I will go back in uh, eventually and erase this a little bit, the stuff that I don't want. Um, I'll go back in and get rid of that. Um, you see his pants that he had on at the announcement um, were kind of a dark bluish color. So, yeah, we, that's not too bad. Yeah, let's go a little bit more grayish, I guess. More of a blue gray, maybe even a tad lighter. I want to put maybe some shadow area into it. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, so this is what the cartoon is going to be like here, okay? Um, I'll go ahead and throw the type in it. You can kind of get the idea of what the cartoon is saying and what it's about real quick. Um, and I've already created the type um, that I'm going to be using here. And let me see if I can find it. Okay, I believe I just labeled it Romeo because this kid's name is Romeo Langford. Yep. Okay, here it is. This is the type that I'm going to have around Romeo. Um, and if you can see it, it's the word Indiana, and I'm gonna have him be the middle eye in Indiana. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Um, might push it in just a little bit more on either end. Um, that's kind of the nice thing before I place this. Um, I can make some adjust, adjustments and push and pull it a little bit. Uh, make it a little taller if I want to, um, something like that. Um, I will have to go back down in this area um, and maybe eliminate where his foot is touching that little piece of type right there. But I'll go ahead and place this. That's, uh, yeah, let me push it just a little bit. There we go. That's not, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty close. Um, yeah. A little bit more in here. Okay, go ahead and place that. So as you can see, it's going to say Indiana in the color red, which is Indiana colors. Um, he's the middle eye. And then there's going to be another little piece of type that goes in here that I've already put together. And I believe I've labeled that gap. Okay, so here's this type. It's going to go down here and certainly be much smaller. It'll stay black, but it'll be fairly bold. Um, and it'll be like this. So, if you can see this, um, you've got the, uh, the new player, Romeo Langford, creating the I in Indiana, and a little tagline there saying, filling a gap. So, uh, the little hook here is that he's visually filling the gap between the D and the A. Um, he's also filling a gap on the team. Um, there's a spot just begging for Romeo Langford on this team this, this coming year. Um, the roster, the way it is, he, he's going to be just perfect for a perfect fit for what they need. And also it's kind of filling a gap for as far as the, uh, the fans of Indiana right now. Um, we've been kind of on a little bit of a downside and uh, we need to have our spirits uplifted a little bit. And so he's going to fill that gap. So anyway, um, that's it. I'll go ahead and finish the cartoon and post it later. And uh, I hear my dogs barking. I got three dogs. Um, so they're going nuts. Probably means my wife's home. So 
I'll just go ahead and wrap this up and uh, hopefully you'll like the cartoon and I'll post some sketches and stuff like that and uh, go from there. So thanks a lot.